podcast. I'm Colin Shea. This is my co-host, Jimmy. How you doing today? Um, today we're going to talk about some more of the strike, but we're going to specifically talk about how we got to where we're at today more a little bit and strike breakers, people who are uh, basically working as actors or um, gaffers or uh, sound people in the background. Mm-hmm. People who are working while they while there's a strike going on are considered scabs, strike breakers, rats, you know, and uh, there's a couple people doing that right now, and that's going to lead to some uh, devastating consequences for uh, the people who are working on those shows down the road. So, what we like to do, give a little histor- historical context. So, first off, one of the things that is going on with the strike now is about payment and residuals. So first off, you might be asking yourself, what is a residual? It is simply put, compensation paid for the reuse of credited work. Yep. End of story. So in this case, with the actors and with the writers, it is for credited written work, mm-hmm. whether it be a probably a story by or written by, and then an actual like credited acting role, speaking role, whatever um, SAG is. Um, whatever those things are mm-hmm. and um, <clears throat> basically the, up until 1960 there was no such thing as payment residuals in uh, the 60s 1960 both the writers and uh, the actors went on strike same thing that's going on now um, fighting for their rights uh, they were looking for you know payment because TV at this point and this is the crazy thing that like some people might not even Some people might not even be able to fathom this, but in the 60s, TV was a new medium. Like, it was brand new. Mm -hmm. And, like, so then movies started getting licensing out to the different networks and stuff. And the writers and actors were like, well... Everybody was getting paid. Like, like, everybody was getting paid but these people. Mm -hmm. And so, like, they struck and they fought for those rights. And that's part of the reason of, like, the stuff that's going on now, like... uh, for the actors, they got a. They decided to forego, I guess. Like I read in a Time uh, magazine article, they did a really great um, review of it. I'll put the link in the uh, description here. They did a great review of like knocking down like a history of stuff. And so in the '60s, the actors decided to forego any previous residual payment, and instead they took a lump sum payment to go to their um, pension fund. Right. For, their, for their health right. plan and stuff. Yeah, um, paying into their bunnies and their uh, their benefits and their um and their life. Their, I mean, it's good to just have something on the back end. Like, right. It shouldn't take like a genius entrepreneur to work in an industry like movies. It, the, uh, movies historically, movie stars and uh, people that work on movies, they get used like cattle. They're like yeah. basically um, they've been used and abused, so they strike here and there throughout history and this specific one was about residuals and that that this one was very important because it got people paid for their likeness basically if you did something for something you should be that is getting reused Mm -hmm. as uh as as to get advertisement dollars you should be getting a portion of that and that that became a regular thing after this yeah i mean it's part of when we get to the the strike in the 80s part of that when we get to the 07 strike yep Exactly, it's always going to be up for... It's a part of that as well. Mm -hmm. Um, But, you know, a different than, like, the writers... The writers wanted something a little bit more uh, different, which was still ground... Both of these deals were, like, groundbreaking. The writers had a great um, deal as well. They finally got their payments for stuff when they were getting... um, Like, they were getting their residual payments for stuff when it aired on TV. They were getting stuff when um, it aired both in domestic and, um, like, foreign television as well, like, mm-hmm. you know, when they cut it overseas or whatever for reruns. And they also got, like, a their own pension and, like, um, like health plan. Right. So, like, every Super time, important stuff. Like, like, every time we see people striking, even, let's take a step outside of, like, Hollywood and the glitz and the gra- glamour of, like, even the auto strike that's going on, all these people, when they go on strike, it's that they are fighting for these better benefits, a better yeah. way of life for it's themselves. The next, and, and the next generation, fight. especially. Because, like, I mean, right. a lot of people you hear striking are saying, like, oh, I was here during 07, so I'm definitely striking for this new group. You know what I mean? It's like, right. it's it, it's just a unifying force. They're all doing, they're all 
under the same banner right now. And it's nice to see the solidarity, but it's not nice to see <laughs> how they're being treated by, you know, these executives, basically. Well, right. And so, um, so yeah, that's what was going on in like the 60s. And that was the first, the, the reason why the 60s strike is so big is because that was the first time that actors and writers both end up getting residual payments. Right. Um, and so like, that's huge. And, and like, to think about it now, though, it's like, it's like, oh, yeah, like, it, 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 it's like, for now, we think of it something as the norm, mm -hmm. but like, it wasn't before, which is crazy right, to right, think about. Right. Um, yeah, and um, it, it, and there's people nowadays saying that writers don't deserve to make a living. Right, which is like Literally, crazy. that's, yeah. That's crazy. So like, let, let, let's jump into it. I know, right. you, I, I know we've been waiting for it, so like, do you, do you want to tackle him or her first? Uh, let's go on to Drew. So okay. before we get into Bill Maher, yeah, right. <laughs> let's talk about Drew Barrymore, who is considered right now a strike breaker. Until about four or five hours ago, uh, she was about to put on a new, on her television show despite the strike. And, and she is an actor and she is technically, I mean, I don't know if she's a writer to be honest, but she has writers for the show that you know, we're on strike that are not able to work right now, and she's going against all that, and... You know, and her head writer even said, like, yeah. please don't do this right. to you. And she, um, came in, she came out and apologized, and didn't, and was like, yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna keep doing it. And that's not an apology yeah. by any measure. So, she basically got what she deserved by the internet, <laughs> and just kind of roasted. Well, and, 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 um, and to be fair, it wasn't just like, trolling people no. like like trolls it's on the people internet. that like it was it was stuff. it was legitimate pro like it was legitimate like hollywood people other actors other writers equals being like drew what are you doing mm -hmm. why are you doing this right. you you should be one of these people that know better yeah and like like i mean i guess to, if, if like, nothing if, else yeah yeah if to her benefit else, she's, like, she's, in, she's been handed a silver platter since like she was born basically in this industry, and she definitely doesn't actually understand what what's going on in these people's lives, right. and like what it's like to live not even paycheck to paycheck, but like like one job to another. You know what well, I mean? And the, residuals used to be a way to hold you over, but ever since networks came around, like we were getting across, yeah. like that's what they were fighting for in the '60s. Their networks were then paying them out, and then they got residuals from those networks. Now that streaming services pop in. You don't necessarily get those same paychecks. People are getting like jokes of, of payouts for these right. for these shows that are syndicated for years, and then Netflix just holds all the data and doesn't even allow anyone to under and that's, know what's and being that's the watched. Issue, or not. Is that that data of like what is streaming? What counts for a view? What is it? Is mm -hmm. it like rolling it beginning? To, none of that. I mean, that's. Of, I mean, if no. I buy a ticket to a movie and go to it, right, and walk out, it doesn't mean I didn't go see the movie, right? Like it's right. just like. I should still that, count that, that, in the box office. That, money, office, that yeah. money is still like yeah, yeah. Two or the box dollars. office, yeah. Um, now, nah, if I bought like a whole a bunch of tickets and was just trying to inflate a box office, it's a little different. But yeah, yeah. yeah. But like even with the even with Drew Barrymore, like they they were filming shows because like like there was also the yep. article of the two people that got kicked out of the filming because out it, like they. So they were like, we knew the strike was happening, but we actually didn't know it was happening outside of Drew's. We were like, mm -hmm. totally, we were just like, hey, we want tickets to the taping. This is awesome. And then they get there and they see the writers and stuff being like, you know, the picketing Drew Barrymore yeah, yeah. and the show and everything. And they're like, oh, F yeah. Like, we'll take this pin mm -hmm. and stuff. And like, we'll they, work do it. Like, yeah. like, they do support the like strikes or anything. And they got like kicked out because mm -hmm. they wore the like, WGA strong yeah. or like you know like but she's so sorry guys yeah. trust me <laughs> um, like that was wild yeah but now I, I mean in the end as of like a few hours earlier today if it's like you know Sunday night at like six o'clock like we heard yeah like, she make, decided to make like, the right like move or whoever today. on her team made her make the right move or whatever happened behind and the decide, scenes at the end of the day it's a win yeah that they're not that she's not gonna. Release anything not that's gonna a put win. out her show, but we got like it. losers like Bill Maher who are acting like they're not. Uh, I, I think like writers are can't you can't make a living from yeah. Being you a just writer. can't be a writer and and make a living. You should just you should have to be grinding. You should you should be on a grindstone like he is, man. Yeah, because he's yeah. such a he's such a down and out cat, man. Like the the the, the, the 
the, me the mainstream media can't handle Bill Maher, man. <laughs> He's such a dork. Um, yeah, that was not a good look. Um, and like, yeah, so like, even okay, this is if he didn't say that about the writers, maybe he'd have a point to bring a show back as just an interview show without. But still, no, because he's an actor and, and, and probably or definitely a writer, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. he's, and he's going to have to write, like at the end of the day, he's going to have to write questions and write these things. And that's going, at, that's being a strike breaker. You're doing the thing. Yes, mm -hmm. you're not doing your segments that, that need writers. Mm -hmm. But dude, you don't. No one wants it. Yeah, don't. Just like, don't do it. It's not needed. Do do what the late night guys are doing. Start yeah. a podcast where they don't see them. You got your silly you, podcast that nobody listens to. Just keep that right, and use any funds from that to like help the writers that are on your staff. Oh, and yeah, stuff. I don't expect that from. Him. But and, like, but, like I expect you to stop. But it's like that's what we're getting from like what from people who had these overall deals and stuff too, like the Ryan Murphys, the Greg Berlantes, and like the rest of them. They're all they've all started like their own funds for like yeah. their like little companies and stuff so that their people can still like work since their overall deals are now like shut down at all of these places Lauren Michaels and stuff yeah. like they understand <laughs> they, they to a degree understand at least yeah they might not like they might not empathize but they sympathize you know and that's, no. that's important in these situations I don't expect that from him I just expect him to not do this because this is on this is like unbelievable behavior he's just such a privileged loser with <laughs> with such <laughs> like he thinks he's so smart and he's not and he's just uninteresting and nobody wants it so like just don't even make it right. but HBO could just cancel the show and I don't think anyone like under 55 would notice probably true. <laughs> probably true. Um, yeah. so yeah we've got all Keep of strike that. breaking buddy yeah Jesus it, it like it, I, I don't know I don't get it I'm, I'm very happy that like the the, the 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 picketing and everything worked with like Drew Barrymore yeah. like and like, like you were and, saying and, though, and, like, I don't think show. that's gonna happen with Bill Maher like like, like uh, yeah I don't know I don't know maybe people will do that but I like yeah no people are gonna pick it for like, sure like, like, but, but I think it, I think the more attention he gets it'll just like make him dig in yeah. more no he's and, gonna and, just like, turn yeah yeah he's gonna turn more in. he's gonna dig his heels in but um so yeah the 1960s brought residuals. Yeah. That is what um, part of what is still going on today with like the streamers when we talk about like, the Netflixes and the Disney Pluses. It's main it, like the first thing that started this was Netflix, when, because they like, they were the first big streamer and stuff. Is that they never released their numbers of mm -hmm. viewing. They would just be like, we have this big hit, yeah. or you could tell from just the discourse of people like I guess writing articles. Oh, and for stuff. sure. But, but even that is well, but, 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 is not but, I mean, look, 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 look at like the controversy. Look at the controversy surrounding Rotten Tomatoes right. and stuff about like yeah. receiving payments to like write certain articles and stuff like that. Like it's what? Yeah. Who needs bots when you got real journalists to pay off? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. But this is, you know, like the these numbers and stuff is like, and Netflix will then just buy people out and like for a lump sum mm -hmm. or something, and and that works for the few. Yeah. Again, that's not what we're here for. Is we're not here. To, they're making enough money. They keep. They always or or they're they're not, and that's on them. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's one or the other, and it's it's not on either the consumer or the actors and or the writers or any of these people that work on these television shows to make up for that. And know. they they should all earn a living. I'll still it's buy. As simple it. as that. If you put that out on 4K or Blu-ray or whatever, like some form of home media, I'm still gonna buy it. Right. So like, I'll buy it all day. Like, I don't even care about streaming that much. I right. care about it for them because the numbers need to be told. I mean, ahoy, ahoy, ladies. You know, let, 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 you get, catch my drift. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, all of that. It's harder <laughs> to fight against that. Right. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, oh man, and like, let me tell you, Paramount Plus, I used to really like that streaming service up until like earlier, like today, <laughs> I noticed, well, it was the first major change that I've ever seen in it negatively. They used to play commercial before and after every single episode of any Tolerable. It, awesome. It was like a two minute commercial, kind of long, whatever. Mm -hmm. But it was usually for other stuff within like Paramount Plus that you can watch and stuff. So I was like, hey, this is cool. Like, 
and, and I'm watching like Turtles and stuff with my daughter and whatnot. So it's like, oh, show me other kid shows that yeah. you have on here that we can watch together and stuff. Show point but out, I'm sure. <laughs> now it's like literally every 30 seconds. Like they can't even get like a line of dialogue out without putting in an 80 second, a 90 second, or 120 second uh, commercial. YouTube in it? Yeah. Oh god, it's so yeah. bad. It's so bad. I'm so sorry. No, um, yeah, sorry. No, that's an, an aside that streamers aren't good. Right? <laughs> they're they're expecting all this from us, plus cable subscriptions that we still need for for the internet access and all that stuff. And it's just not making sense anymore to our pocketbooks or theirs. Yeah. Apparently, so figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then like now we're gonna get a bunch of bundling and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. Excited. So the 1960s brought us residuals. That is what they were fighting for, which we'll get into probably episode three, maybe episode four sure. of the 80s strike um, when that happens. Give you some more updates of what's going on now. Um, they are supposed to be actually meeting later this week. Uh, the writers, I believe, are supposed to be sitting down again. Yeah. Um, because we'll the, the showrunners were supposed to meet on Friday, but I believe that they, with the Writers Guild heads and stuff, but I believe that that got canceled because the uh, studios were like, hey, we want to we wanna take a little bit of your time and try and make something happen next week. So okay. we'll the showrunners were like, that's way more important than, hey, that's mm-hmm. way more important than what we wanted to like Band meet with or anything. Or so like, please, let's go do that okay. <laughs> and whatnot. We'll see, yeah. We'll um, update that then. Yeah, so yeah, as we as we hear more, we'll obviously update it. If, uh, if we're not back next week, we'll be back in like two weeks. Um, it seems to be like, Every other week kind of be seems to be a good time to like update people with this. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, anything else, man? That's it, man. Uh, anyway, uh, welcome to Band This Cut Podcast. We're gonna be here for a while, so stick around and hit subscribe, like and subscribe. I'm Joe. I'm Colin. Peace later.